Hey guys, this is Ryder with Laughing Squid Aquatics and Ryder's Aquarium. I wanted to bring you a video today uh, showing you what I use to dose my tank with for my plants uh, and what I do to enrich my substrate and uh, everything that I, that I use to get the plants growing uh, the way that I need them to do in sand. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'll give you my uh, first thing on the list here which is the most basic uh, and this is Flourish it's a liquid fertilizer um, and you what I do is I pour a capful in about every two to three days um, and I also add it in when I do a water change I add a little bit in into each bucket um, for, per like five gallons that I add into the tank um, Flourish is wonderful because it has a lot of things that your plants need. I can read off several of them here for you. Uh, it has nitrogen, phosphate, calcium, magnesium, boron, chlorine, uh, cobalt, copper, which the copper is uh, negligible, so it will not hurt invertebrates. Um, let's see, water-soluble iron, uh, which takes away a step for the iron getting into the plants, which is very important. Um, it's got zinc, uh, just different kinds of things like that that you really need as a basic, uh, basic kind of foundation for your tank for plants. Now, Flourish all on its own is not enough for your plants to thrive. Uh, it's just a basic midline um, that you need to add along with other things. And what else is important is to use Flourish Iron. Um, Flourish Iron adds in a larger amount of water soluble iron which is extremely important for the plants. It prevents them from getting holes in their leaves, it prevents them from yellowing, uh, leaves falling off or rotting, uh, going kind of see-through like where they melt. So Flourish Iron is extremely important to add in as your regiment with Flourish. So Flourish Iron, I will dose every three to four days, um, and I'll usually dose it along with Flourish or after a dose of Flourish, um, but Flourish Iron, highly recommended. I use it constantly for my plants. Makes a huge difference. Now, next up is I have several, um, several things I use from a company called Brightwell Aquatics. Brightwell Aquatics makes these really specialized mineral based uh, additions that you that you add to your tank that make a huge difference um, they can be a little bit pricey um, but if you can find a good deal for them online buy the sets of them and uh, one of the most important things they have is this remineralize P now what remineralize is is it's a mineral balance so it's a powder and what you do is whenever you change out your water, um, when you're pouring in RO, RO has taken everything out of the water. So when you put just straight RO back in the tank, you're giving your fish nothing. Um, and they need something in the water, you know, to keep their slime coat strong, things like that. They need minerals just like us when we drink mineral water. It's the same for fish. Um, what Remineralize does is it adds a large amount of basic minerals back into the water. So what I do is I take like maybe two to three pinches of this per five gallons uh, that I mix to put back in the tank. So I'll add those pinches into each five gallons that I do in the buckets, stir it up, um, get it all mixed in, and that adds all the good minerals that you want back into the water. That's extremely important because if you didn't do that, just pouring straight RO in there and adding a little bit of fertilizer is one, not good for your fish, and two, it's not enough for your plants. So Brightwell Aquatics, remineralized pea, get it. It makes a huge difference. Uh, following up with that is Brightwell Aquatics Florin Bacteria. Uh, what this does is this adds live cultured bacteria into the water. It's a good bacteria that you have that will grow in like your bio balls or your ceramic rings that you have in your filter. What I do is when I go to do my water changes, again, five gallons of RO, 
I'll put in the pinches of the remineralized pea and I'll add a capful of the live uh, bacteria. This makes a huge difference for your fish. What this does is it makes it to where there's no spikes in uh, any of your parameters, anything like that, and it gives you a nice good baseline adding that bacteria back into the water that they need for the fish to thrive. Um, it protects them with their slime coat, it, it uh, protects them from getting any type of fin rot, anything like that, and it's really, really good for the water because it also supercharges your filter. It makes it to where your filter keeps a very good balance of the bacteria that it needs. So along with remineralized pea by the florin bacteria uh, from Brightwell Aquatics, it makes a big difference. Now, what else that I use is I get a lot of questions from you guys about how I'm able to grow these plants in sand. Um, aside from all the dosing from the liquid fertilizers and the mineral balance, one of the main things I use are API root tabs. What these do is you take one of these large tabs and you add it in every six to eight inches spaced apart um, between plants and this adds a giant boost of concentrated minerals and things that plants need to enrich the substrate. Using one of these um, is better than fluorite, it's better than any other type of substrate you could use as long as you put these in the correct area and you use enough of them. So my sand, which normally sand would be lacking in any minerals, um, is supercharged with these. Every six to eight inches I put one of these root tabs in and the roots from the plants grow towards it right away. And once they get it, roots will wrap around it They'll share it between multiple plants where they're able to suck the nutrients out of it. Just make sure that when you add them into your substrate, you, you, I use tweezers and I press them down as far as I can. And I have about a four inch sand bed, which I recommend four inches as a minimum. Uh, but you put these as far down as you can so that way they don't get kicked up or mixed up and, and because they will dissolve. Um, and you don't want that. You want them stayed in the sand, underground, um, and these are the main way that I enrich my substrate. This is the biggest thing that you can do to make sure that your plants are healthy and beautiful and they look great. Um, coming up, I also will dose with Garlic Guard. Um, what I do with Garlic Guard is pretty simple. I'll add a little bit to their food. I'll add a little bit to the water. It just helps with their slime coat. Um, it helps them with their digestion and things like that. So this doesn't have as much to do with plants, but it, it is healthy for plants. But this will mainly keep your fish uh, nice and healthy. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is CO2 boosting. Uh, this is liquid CO2, which if you don't dose it correctly, it's very dangerous for the fish that are in the tank. So you need to make sure that when you dose with this, it's very minimum, not very much. Um, I even recommend doing less than the recommended dose on this and I don't use this often I only use this if I see that my plants are struggling a little bit and you only use it in the daytime do not use it at night because your plants are already in the CO2 cycle it's going to starve your fish of oxygen so you want to do this in the morning um, if you're having problems with your plants and you're struggling with them add a little bit of this at a time and only add it like once a week or so. Don't add more than that or you're in a serious situation of harming your fish. Um, as far as that goes, I hope that answered a lot of questions that you guys had about how I grow plants in sand and how my plants are so healthy and, and things like that. Um, if you guys have any other questions at all about how I dose my plants or what plants I grow in sand or, or anything like that, please leave me a comment, let me know, and I will be able to answer your questions for you or, or do a follow-up video to answer that for you. Um, as far as that goes, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, again, thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you guys for giving me views, and hopefully I get to talk to you soon. Bye.